house building journey. And so um, this process was supposed to take nine to 11 months and it ended up taking 18 months to get completed. So we officially finished on Friday. Today is Sunday. Um, Friday, I think it was April 21st and we're gone for the weekend. So today is actually our first day that we get to actually come in and start moving things in and uh, we're able to give you guys a tour. And uh, we actually didn't have a closing day because uh, we had a closing in the beginning of the process. We did a construction to permanent loan and so we don't really have an official closing date. So once we move in and the builder gets a final payment from our mortgage company, did the mortgage company work on our paperwork to change us from a construction loan to a permanent loan? And so we are really excited to give you guys a tour to show you guys what have been completed. And um, right now you guys are in our entryway. Our entryway is actually, uh, we have a 20 uh, foot entryway. And if you look up, this is our big chandelier that we, we were able to get from Restoration Hardware. And so our half bath, we have this beautiful mirror that we got from Restoration Hardware and also our light is from Restoration Hardware. And if you go down to our cabinet, our cabinet, we have our knobs that we ended up doing these round knobs. We got those from Restoration Hardware. here this is our stairs we um, did the color ebony on our stairs and right here we have our fireplace and we also stained it I think the color was ebony also so this is our fireplace we did some built-ins to my right. We have some built-ins right here. And what we did underneath our built-in, we added access to our TV. Once we put our TV above the fireplace, we'll have access through the cords here so the cords won't be showing. So we did add that. And this is our living room. They clean our window on Monday and it, they're looking dirty again. And we still have some blue tape because there's some things that we need them to come fix. But this is our living room. We did coffered ceiling and we have a fan in our living room also. One thing we did add in our living room, we did put a floor plug right here where our sofa will be. You'll be able to plug. If you need to charge your phone or something, you'll be able to do it here. And this is our kitchen. This part right here is where we'll be having our dining room. And we actually did two separate lights in here. And this light also came from Restoration Hardware. And so we're able to have, we have two switches, so we could just use one or the other. Over here is where our pantry is. We decided to go with a glass door and all our doors on the main floor um, are eight foot doors. And so this is our pantry. I actually put a lock 
and you could use a key or a code to get in because sometimes I need to lock my kids out of here. But this is our pantry. Over here, we're gonna end up putting a refrigerator right here. This panel needs to be painted because it needs to go in the bottom. But this is our finished pantry, which I cannot wait to organize. So one thing we did in here, we added outlets. So I'm actually gonna put a small microwave here for my kids to be able to use. And we also put outlets here, um, just in case we have a vacuum that we need to charge. Um, we also put an outlet here. So I did put a lot of different outlets in different places. But this is the pantry. Okay, our kitchen. This is our wonderful kitchen. Soraya's gonna help me show you guys. And so in our kitchen, we ended up doing a microwave in an oven. The good thing I like about this microwave is actually an oven and a microwave. So if you open it up, you can see you can use it as a microwave and then you'll take this part off. Or you can use it as an oven and you'll be taking this part off. And it actually came with two pieces. And so this goes for the microwave. If you want to grill something on here, you can use this in the microwave. And this piece also goes in the microwave. And so we have two drawers here. And our oven. This is our oven. And it actually has different things. You could just choose what you want to do. So this oven actually um, have Wi-Fi. So if you are out and you want your oven to start warming up, you could just go on your phone and preheat it while you're before you get home. And if you open it up, uh, it's really not much in here, but it has the normal tool rack and it came with this thing oh, right you. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have two drawers down here that are probably will be putting our baking stuff in. And we have our ones up here. And these are all soft clothes, but some of them right now are actually not soft clothes because the pieces that they need to make them soft clothes, they're waiting for them to come in. So they actually have to come back. There's a lot of things that they actually need to come back and fix. <laughs> And that's one of them. And so we have our our kitchen counter. Our kitchen countertop is actually 11 feet. And so it's, it's huge. And we have our, so I decided to do the island blue with gold hardware. And inside, I decided to do pull out drawers. And so that one in the top is actually not pulling out correctly. So they didn't come fix it. But we did pull out drawers here. So I can't wait till we're able to organize our kitchen. We have our dishwasher. Um, we did the GE Profile dishwasher. And one thing I do like about it is it has a third rack on there. So that's exciting. And coming over here, we have our sink. And I love it. So this sink, it's actually dirty, it needs to be washed. But this thing actually, I bought it from Home Depot. So it came out, it came with all these little pieces. This is supposed to be a cutting board, it's so small. But it came with all our pieces. And our faucet that we also got from Home Depot is actually touchless. And we have a water faucet because we have a reverse osmosis in the bottom. And so, this is our reverse osmosis and some stuff up the hair is not even plugged right now, but it needs to be plugged. And so once everything is plugged and going, you'll be able to get fresh water out of 
this faucet. And so one thing I do like, this is deep. Um, I'm excited about that. And if you come on this side, if you open that cabinet, we also have pull-out drawers under this cabinet. And they're also supposed to be soft closed. They're not closed and soft, but yeah, they're soft closed. <laughs> and um, we have under cabinet lights also. If you see our previous video, we, I had missed that, and so they had to put it at the end. And we have the white backsplash, which I'm excited about. And we also did a pot filler here, but we're not gonna turn it on. And we have the GE Profile stovetop also. So this is our GE uh, Profile stovetop. And we have our fan here. And the top, they actually, they custom built it, so they're actually not down, they actually need to cook come back and do some painting um so they're coming back for that there's a few things that they're actually not done with but um over here we have our garbage so we got the two garbage trays here on the soft clothes and one thing i like i do like that we have these type of drawers here so i mixed it up a little bit some of them are different, but yeah. And one thing I do like is they pull all the way out. So uh, it makes it easy to find things when they come all the way out. And we have the same thing here. We did pull out here. And it's supposed to be soft clothes, but they need to come fix a lot of these hardwares because they're not closing the way they're supposed to. This one did close softly, so they need to fix the top. And I have another one of these here that I'm excited about that gets to be pulled all the way out. And something else they have to come fix is this right here. They need to come fix it, but this is our kitchen. So my favorite part in this kitchen is our refrigerator. This is our refrigerator. So this is the Frigidaire Professional Refrigerator. It makes it look expensive. One of those really expensive wide refrigerators but it's actually two refrigerators, um, two, one full-size refrigerator and one full-size freezer that was put together. And so then you buy a kit and the kit includes this piece, that piece, and the side piece, and you add the kit to make it look like one full refrigerator. And so the good thing is we have way much more room when you have, sorry, we have water in here already. <laughs> we have a lot of room now when you have a full-size refrigerator. So this is a full-size refrigerator, which it still needs to be clean. And then this is the full-size freezer. And so when you look at it, you're like, oh, it doesn't have any water or ice, but the ice is actually in the bottom right here and it has the scooper. So we actually have not, we need to clean it and get everything together, but it comes with a scooper. And uh, the water, so how you get water? This is how you get water. So if you, this is where you get your water 
right here. Maybe so I could demonstrate for you. <laughs> but this is our full size refrigerator. So I'm gonna show you guys how you get water. So that's how you get water out of here. So I think that's my favorite part. And this refrigerator, I actually bought it since October of 2021 when the building process started because they told me that it was gonna be an eight month, eight month wait. And so when it did arrive, of course our house wasn't done. So it's been sitting in the warehouse for a while. And I'm glad I did order it back then because the price has went way up from the price it was when I bought it in October of 2021. And so, but if you want, if you're interested in this refrigerator, uh, you just go to Frigidaire and you'll see it there. But I didn't order it from Frigidaire, I ordered it from Ferguson. But this is our refrigerator. And I could give you guys a glimpse from our kitchen to our dining room. Oh, I, and our pendant lights. These are our pendant lights. So our pendant lights also came from Restoration Hardware. So I don't really like to spend a lot of money on finishing. So a lot of things I buy, like that light over there, is from Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware is pricey. So I don't shop there a lot. But this light and the entry light, I bought it on clearance and I bought it like a year ago. And within that year, the clearance price that I bought it for went down some more. And so by the time they deliver it, it was way cheaper than I paid for it. So they refunded me the difference because it was, because it was like the last one left by the time it was time to be shipped to me. Um, and it's discontinued, they don't have it anymore. So I was really able to get it for a cheap price. And these weren't on clearance, but I really love those lights. And so, but they weren't too expensive. But this is our view from our kitchen. We have our open concept. All right, so if you come to my left, we ended up doing a, a barn door. So this is our bar barn door. <laughs> so at first we didn't have any doors here. And then um, my project manager asked me if I wanted to just put a barn door because this is our laundry room. So if we don't want it to be too noisy and then you could um, just close it. And they're still missing the hardware. So we need, still need to put the hardware for it. But when you come in here, this is where our garage door is. We have a few stuff in the garage right now, but um, this is our garage. So if you look at some of our previous videos, our stairs was facing the other way and the city made them move it because of the, our electrical panel. And so our builder is gonna send a guy, now that we close it, we have our certificate occupancy now we have we're gonna get the stairs moved back to the other side because the inspector is not coming anymore and because we had put an outlet here to put a freezer and so now they have to we need it moved and so yeah but all right so this is our laundry room so yeah we have our barn door here and we have a folding table so the back piece we're supposed to have a back piece here and it's missing so that's one thing that they have to come back and fix and we have, we did cabinets in here and all of these are soft, they're supposed to be soft clothes, but the hardware to make them soft clothes is, is on back order. So we're waiting for it to come. 
And this is where our washer and dryer will be, which we'll begin, we'll be bringing our washer and dryer here on Tuesday. And this sink right here, we're gonna use it for our dog, and it's really deep. And it's actually, um, and this one is also touchless. And I just bought that faucet from Bill.com. And if you pan around here, you can see our outside. Listen, I did not know that they were gonna put seed for our grass. <laughs> uh, and so we don't have no grass right now. We're gonna have to wait like a few weeks before we have grass. So it's really muddy outside. But this is our drop zone. And we have four, four different sections, one for each child. And we're gonna, I got these from Ikea. These are hooks that they're gonna come, I think th this week or next week, they're gonna come and install the hooks for me. So each section will have two hooks. And we have a closet inside our laundry room in our closet, this is basically where all our cleaning supplies will be. And these boxes are still here. So these lights in here, the boxes are still here because I'm gonna return them. The light that I wanted in here, I just feel like the light is not on. <laughs> but the light that I wanted in here, um, the city did not, the inspector did not pass. They wanted it to be a flush mount light. So I had to go to Home Depot and buy some flush mount lights. And now that we're done, I'm gonna have an electrician come back and put the correct light in here. And then I'm gonna pack it up and then return it to Home Depot. So that's why I still have these boxes in here. But this is our cleaning closet. But this is our laundry room. out of the laundry room you go back into the kitchen all right to my left is our office we did the glass doors the eight foot doors and in here we we ended up doing a fan and we have some extra lights in here. But this is our closet. Have some stuff for you. Yeah. I mean, sorry, not closet, <laughs> office. And this is actually my husband's closet. I mean, my husband's office. So I guess he's gonna put a TV here. And it does have a, a small closet in here. This is a small closet. We just put some shelves in here. But this is the office. One thing we did in most rooms, we did a direct connection to internet service. All right, so coming out of the office, through the living room, is our patio. All right, going out of the patio. So our patio is actually not done yet. So this coming week, our painter is coming back to stain it. And then once they stain it, they're gonna put screen. So we're gonna have a screen, screened in patio here. We did our, we have our fan here. 
This one is from Home Depot. I got it from Home Depot. And if you look through these trees, we have a lake back there. Now that it's spring, all the leaves are up. And so it's really hard to see uh, the lake. But we eventually gonna cut more trees down. But right here, we're gonna have a door here. And then it's gonna it'll lead you to where we'll end up having our grill. So this is our grill deck. We have something here for gas. But this is our grill deck. One thing I forgot to add here was a light. I feel like I needed a light here, but I didn't put no light here. And we do have our stairs here that leads to the bottom. This is our porch. Oh, one thing we did put over here too. <laughs> if we end up wanting to put a TV here, we have some hookups to add a TV. All right, so that's our porch. I'm not sure what we're we'll be doing out here, but I'll be watching some YouTube videos to get ideas of how to sit on my porch. <laughs> and so when you come back in here, we have our door here that leads us to the basement. Our light here, I got this light from Home Depot. It wasn't expensive. And we also stain our stairs here the same color, which was ebony. I feel like I should have done a second coat, but this is our basement. And so down here, we went with a different color flooring. We went with more of a light gray color. And this is basically where my kids will be playing. This will be the playroom, their TV room. They're not gonna watch much TV upstairs in our living room upstairs, but this is gonna be their domain. This is where they're gonna hang out, where they're gonna make their messes, so that they'll be able to stay out of upstairs, so upstairs don't get too messy. But this is basically my kids' hangout spot and we ended up putting a fan up here and uh, let's see. Let's turn it on. yeah so this fan is actually you can use it with wi-fi so you can use your phone to turn it on but yeah so i can't wait to figure out how i'm gonna decorate here i'm not a decorator I'm one of those people that watch YouTube to get ideas on how to decorate homes. And then when I get ideas, I make it my own. And so that's what I like to do. But this is the door that takes you to our downstairs patio. So we did put some concrete over here. So we'll be having some chairs over here. We have two lights over here, one right here and one right here. And up our deck, we have a screen that like catches everything. So it's so messy up here. So I gotta figure out a way to clean it up there because it is so messy. But this is basically our backyard. Um, yeah, they planted seeds. And so the seeds gonna take like a few weeks to grow. So our yard is looking a mess right now, which I didn't realize they were using seeds. I thought they were gonna put grass, but my landscaping budget was really low. I did not make it high. And so this is what my budget got me. And so right here, so I usually have a garden. And I think for now, I'm gonna start a garden right here. So I'm actually gonna try to have the grass not grow here what I should have done is just tell them not to put anything here but in the next two weeks I'm actually gonna put some planters so I could grow some vegetables so I do do summer spring and summer garden and so I'm gonna start my garden right here and then in the future hopefully by the end of this year I'm actually gonna cut more trees down and level 
back here up and I'm gonna create like a whole garden back here but for now I'm gonna create one here and also we're also gonna in the future put a pool here pools are really expensive so I'm trying to find an alternative way to basically be my own contractor and put a pool back here instead of hiring a contractor and so that's our plan and when I did the numbers it was 50% left le less than what they were quoting me and so that's basically our plan right now for our backyard but it's looking really crazy right now because it's all muddy it rained really bad yesterday so that's why I'm not walking out there to show you guys in the back because it's so muddy right now but we do have a long patio here and we also have this entryway right here that leads to my storage room but this is our back porch y'all these bugs stink bugs they keep getting in my house and i already have pests um pesticide some type of pest control spray i sprayed the whole house already last week and i feel like i need to spray again because i keep finding them and i hate them so anyway so back to the basement to your left over here is where our guest bedroom will be our guest bedroom so it's real it's a small pretty good size and I also did a fan here also and did some extra light. And so I have not done the closet yet. So if you look in the closet, see we have a temporary light up here. And then now that we're done, we're gonna put the real light that we want in here because they did not want us to pass inspection with the lights that I had up here. But the baseboards are not done is because I'm doing an Ikea pack system in here. And so I didn't want the baseboards to be done. So I told them I'll do them, we'll do them ourselves. So we're gonna actually get a lot of our Ikea items on Thursday of this week. And so we're gonna start building our closets this week. So only my boys and my youngest daughter have a closet right now. I don't have a closet. But if you come to over right here, this closet is our data closet. So this is where all our data stuff will be. And I probably will put some shelves or something here, but I do like that they have two of these. And actually we have a third one in here also. So we have plenty of places to plug whatever we need to plug. And here, I love this bathroom. This is our downstairs basement bathroom. This is our half bathroom. So this mirror, I just got it from Target. I think it's from the Magnolia collection. And I did chrome finishings here. And this one, we kind of custom built this cabinet. We got to choose what color we want, what kind of design we want. So this is like the smallest cabinet we have, bathroom cabinet. It did not cost us that much money. And I bought these from Home Depot. I just wanted some sparkle in here, so I added that. But this is our downstairs bathroom. And as you can tell, my daughter's in the shower. I love this shower. So at first I had it to where we're gonna do frameless shower. And y'all, I, I last minute I decided to change my shower and this shower to semi-frameless. And I got three thousand dollars back because frameless was it's just too pricey. So I'm like, let me just I have them I had them change it and because I changed it to semi-frameless, I was able to get three thousand dollars back. And I used that three thousand dollars to get some other updates. Um, I don't remember what I did with it, but I think that's what I used to get them to stain the 
shower or something. I'm not sure what I did with it, but I was able to get a $3,000 credit for not doing fully frameless shower. And one thing I like about this shower is that you get to take that part off. You get to wash yourself like that if you want to. <laughs> And so, yeah, I love this bathroom. So if I ever have any guests, this is the bathroom y'all be in. And they forgot my towel hook. So they gotta come back and do that. And one thing I did do is I added um, speakers. And so if anyone here, you have your Bluetooth, you wanna play some music while you're taking a shower. So all our bathrooms actually have that. This is all dirty. But yeah, all our bathrooms actually have the Bluetooth speakers and it actually um, changes colors too so you could do you do the nighttime mode if we turn these lights off you could do the blue color so yeah that's exciting they could turn use it to turn the fan on yeah so that's exciting so we have a lot of lights in here so you come back out here, you go to my left. This is basically the room that I'll be using as storage, random stuff. It just, this room, we're just gonna have a lot going on in here. And we have a double door that leads to the outside. And um, yeah, and I also did This gold light that I've had for a long time, I was gonna put it in my old house and I never did. So I bought it like two years ago from Overstock. And this particular pendant, I'm actually gonna, I have another one that I'm gonna put in my laundry room. So this is where my laundry room light will be when I have time to get it changed. And one special thing we added to this room is, a washing station, I hear a washing bowl. So, yeah. So this, I always wanted one of these. And when I wanted to build, I put in this request. And it works. So if I, this is where I'll be washing my daughter's hair and my hair. And it actually have a light here. You can turn the light on. So we have a light right over it. And, so I'm, and back there, I'm gonna put some shelves. And so this is where a lot of our hair products will go. So we'll have some shelves here. So this place is just a lot gonna be going on in here. We're gonna have storage, a lot will be going on in here. But this is our extra room. And by the way, you guys, the crown molding in this house is amazing. I love the guy. His name is Miguel, who did, who did that. One special room in this house that it was either to make it into a exercising room or a movie theater. I was the only one that wanted it to be an exercising room. Everybody else, everyone else wanted it to be a, our movie theater room. So my kids wanted a movie theater room. I lost, I wanted it to be an exercise room. As you can tell, they're all in here. This is the movie theater. This is it. So we got these lights from Home Depot. And you guys, I love the color that we ended up going with. So my daughter right here actually picked out the color that goes in this room and she did such a good job. Yeah. And we also have the tray ceilings in here. And we did a, we did a, a raised part here. So when we put some chairs, we'll, we did a raised part here. And we did our light. We have this light up here that matches the two sconces. 
that are on each side. And they're using this as a stage right now, but we did an outlet right here. So when we put chairs that need to be plugged or you wanna plug your charger, you'll have that. And we have basically have plugs all around. So that's supposed to be. So eventually we're gonna have our, we could put a TV here or we could put a screen um, because we also, we have our, we have a thing right here where we could put a projector. So eventually we'll be setting this room up. So this is our movie theater room. Oh, we painted the door block. So this is it. downstairs all right so we're gonna go back upstairs so I guess the kids will join me for upstairs because that's where all their bedrooms are so they're gonna give you guys a tour of their bedrooms who's going first me because my room is closer okay so Soraya will show you guys her bedroom She was actually able to pick out her light in her room. And so her light is bright and it changes colors, different mood. And then she also has recess lights in here also. And so this is her bedroom. She's actually getting her bed. Her bedroom will be done. We'll work on her bedroom on Wednesday. So they have these out. I don't know how they missed this, but there was a guy here on Friday putting all these on, and for some reason, he did not put this one on. So they're coming back this week, I guess, to do that. But this is her closet. And so her closet is actually not complete also. So I did not have him do any baseboards no baseboards because we're doing the Ikea pack system this coming weekend. And we have to do a flush mount light in here. So eventually she probably will get a nice light, but it's not on the to-do list right now. But yeah, this is my oldest room. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the princess room. You have to knock. Oh, we didn't even turn this light on. It's like dark in here. But we have to knock in order to go in. This is the princess room. So her favorite color is pink and green, but she wanted a pink light. So she actually also have recess lights, but her light is so pretty. This light, I bought it from Wayfair. Oh, and my other daughter's light was from Wayfair also. But um, yeah, this is her room. And I, as you can tell, they didn't even finish her window also. But she has a nice view of all the trees because we are in the woods. We have trees everywhere. This is, this is her closet. Can we record the video? No, you're fine. So we did do built-ins. They're actually missing her poles. Um, we did do built-ins because her closet was too small to do a 
IKEA pack system like I wanted to do. So we just decided to. We could have done it, but could have done the small. But we just decided to do some built-ins in here. It made more sense. And then this happened. And she actually have this door right here. It's actually it's kind of like that. It's really hot in here, but this is storage. We have a lot of storage in this house. And it's still messy because they left a lot of stuff here, but this is just a storage room. So, um, so it has this here because it's actually hot in there right now. And this is um, a door. She actually have her own door to her bathroom. And if she doesn't use this door, because I was debating if I should have put this door here or not, but if she doesn't end up using it, I'm actually just going to put a dress in front of it and just not have her use it. I'll see if she utilize it. But this is their bathroom. This is their cabinet. So my oldest daughter, she chose everything that goes in this bathroom. So she picked the countertops, the poles, the color, the cabinet, everything. And she also chose her mirror. Mommy. And her lights. And we did the matte black finishings in here. Can I drink the water? No, not that water. And they also have a linen closet in here. So here we'll end up putting towels and cleaning supplies, things like that. And they have another door that leads to the hallway. But this door right here leads to their shower. And so they also have that Bluetooth speaker and they also have the, the same light as the basement. They also have the thing that comes out when they take in a shower. But this is their bathroom. And this is my bath. Yeah. One thing I did like is that the handles are also not black. I closed my door. And we come out here. This room, so um, before we wanted our living room to be a two, like a 20 foot ceiling. And then I just, and then um, we were gonna have actually in here, we're gonna do the boys bedroom, but we ended up doing the boys bedroom here. And then in here is actually is my space. So this in here is gonna end up being my office and my lounge area. And so I actually also have a closet in here. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna actually put a couch here and the couch is gonna have a queen bed, so a couch that changes to a bed. So I'm also gonna use this as a guest room also, but I'm gonna do it. So this is gonna be my my chill spot in my office. And this light, I love this. Oh, they still didn't take the plastic out. It's not a plastic in it. But um, this light, I bought it a while ago from Overstock, maybe two years ago. I was gonna put it in my other house, but I decided to put it here. Since yeah. We decided to build. And I have storage in here. So this is just more storage. And I have it in both areas. 
both sides. And it's hot in here. It's not insulated. In my window, that did not finish. But this is it. This is considered, I guess you would say, the bonus room that is turned into my office. So I put recessed lights and one light in the middle. And one thing I did do, I put um, connections. So if I decide to put a TV in there. So when you come out here, since I didn't end up making these my kids' bedroom, I decided not to have the 20 foot ceiling living room. And they actually have the biggest bedroom in the house. And this is the boys' domain. So, if you guys looked at my previous video, I had a different light here and I did not. I'm like, man, let me just put a fan. So, I have some crazy boys and I'm thinking, like, oh my gosh, I hope they don't try to hang on the fan. But it's kind of high and they don't want my wrath. So, hopefully, they don't try to break it. But they actually have the biggest room and they finally get to upgrade from a twin bed to a full bed. So they both get a full bed. So they both get to have a brand new bed because they're going from a twin to a full because this is just too big to have two twin beds. So we're actually gonna have two full and we're thinking that we're gonna put them on this side, one on this side and one on that side. And um, they have something here to put a TV, but they're not ready for a TV. So they're not getting no TV in their bedroom. But if we ever have guests that stays here, we'll put a TV up for the guests, but they're not getting a TV. They, they have not earned that. But they do have their, they're gonna have a desk here. So we have where they could plug in for internet. When we do get internet. And we'll have another desk right here. If you come in here, This is their closet. They have a pocket door. And one thing I did do, um, we have a lot of storage in this house. So they actually was gonna just close this all out and I told them to put a door in here. So we actually have a door that, um, in order for actually to, for us to open it, we actually have to remove this. So this is removable. Wait, we're allowed to remove it? No, not you. I'm allowed to remove it. I put it there so you guys don't remove it. But um, we actually decided to make um, this into what? What's the heck? a storage area. So we actually have a light here. Yeah. So they were going to close all this out. And I told them to put a door here. And so this is a walk-in storage area. So I'm gonna actually use this part of the house to put like probably all my decorations and stuff. So we had them put a door here. So you come out here. So this is their closet. We put some built-ins in here. The poles are not here yet. Um, and then we're gonna, I think I'm gonna put their dresser in here on this side. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing here. But this is their closet. And across from here also was a wall. And I told them to put a door. And then we made it into another storage area. So this is also a walk-in storage. The ceilings are high. And we could put, and it's, it's not insulated, so it's hot in here right now. But we also created this to be another storage area. All right, so let's go to their bathroom. So the boys do have their own bathroom. And this is their vanity. They, their vanity is really nice. <laughs> Um, they have a lot of light, and I love their cabinet. We use the blue cabinets. You guys will still see, and they did not clean under here, so I'm gonna have to do some cleaning here. But I just bought their handles. This is from Home Depot. But this is their vanity. Oh. 
We have the double daddy. And this is their shower. And they also have the black, the matte finishing. And I love that they, I was able to have them put a window here. I just love having windows in the bathroom. Yours is all better. This is their toilet. And they also have a linen closet in here. And so right here, gonna, they have their towels and cleaning supplies in here. And they also have the Bluetooth speaker in here. They wanna play music. So that's the boys' bathroom. These kids don't know how lucky they are because I did not have all this growing up. So I hope they appreciate it and I hope they're able to help me keep it clean. Because we've been waiting for this for a very long time. So this is our upstairs and I really think it's like the perfect size for my family. It's not big, it's not too small and it's not too big, it's just perfect. So, I think the last part here is our master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. And so this light right here, I got it from Pottery Barn, but I think it's too small. And so they have a bigger size. So I'm gonna actually replace this one with a bigger size and put this one in my closet. But we have the tray ceiling in here. And we also have recessed lights in here. And we have a really nice view of the outside. And we do have a lake back there. And we did two windows. So this is where our bed will go. And one thing that we did do is add the USB outlets to charge your phone. So we did it on both sides. Did it on this side also. But this is the bedroom. My boy's bedroom is bigger than this one. <laughs> but this is I think the perfect size for us. This is actually almost like the size of the bedroom we have right now. I think it's just one foot bigger. So when you turn here, this is the hallway that leads to the closet and the bathroom. So this side, we have our linen closet. It's a really good size. We have way more room than we need. And to my right, we have my bedroom, I mean, my, closet and we have pocket doors here. Oh, I did not finish that. Good thing I opened that. So now they have to come back and finish that. I did not see that. So the painters will be here Monday, which is tomorrow. So I need to tell them they did not finish that. They had a hole there, so they had to fix it. But this is my closet. So I'm actually doing the IKEA pack system in here. Um, that should come in this, coming at the end of this week. And so I actually, I didn't have them do the baseboards because we're doing that IKEA pack system. And then we'll do our own baseboards once we put in the system. But um, the light that's in my bedroom right now, I'm gonna put it in here. You know, I have two recess lights in here. And I did add an outlet in here. I wasn't sure where I went. I just wanted to put it anywhere, so I put one here. And on this side is my husband's closet. And 
And so he's also getting that Kia Pack system this week. And so we did not finish the baseboards. And coming in here, we also have our knife for doors, is the master bedroom. So this window, we're gonna switch out and make it into a clear window. And um, we have our shower right here. And we have our vanity. So this is gonna be my side. And we also went with the restoration hardware mirror and also light, did the restoration hardware light. Two hooks right here. And this is our shower. This shower has the same exact towel as our basement shower. And this also, I like that it, you could take this out. And we have the rain shower here. This was the less expensive way to get a rain shower. It was really expensive to have it come in from up there. And one thing I do like about this is that to turn the water on, it's the opposite side. This they need to come fix because the handle, handle is loose. So you'll see we still have blue tape because they literally, everything got completed on Friday. I did my walk through on Wednesday and there was a lot of stuff they needed to fix and there's still more stuff they need to fix. This is my husband's side. So it's the same exact thing on my side. And we also have the Bluetooth fan speaker in here. They painted it. I think I paint on my handle. So they were supposed to fix that and they haven't fixed it yet. So. But all these are soft clothes, which I love. These are all soft clothes. I do like that. And this is our toilet room. So we did buy our own toilet we did this one actually is you walk in it comes on by itself and it's actually a bidet so it cleans you up when you're done using the bathroom and i did do an accent wall color behind here but this is it and then if you you could actually use the right here to open the second part and once you walk out It'll flush it. Let's see if it'll, when I walk off. So this is the remote, actually I need to put, they were supposed to screw it to, on the wall. They haven't done it yet, but this is what washes you up when you're done using the bathroom. And I like the fact that there's a window here. So if I was sitting on it, it's supposed to flush when I leave the, it didn't flush. But I guess if I act like I was sitting down, and it actually, actually also warms, the seat is warm. So when you walk out, it's supposed to flush. But it flushed while I, when I passed by. But this is it. So when they change the window, I'll come back and show you guys how it look. I think it'll look amazing having a clear window here. But this is a huge bathtub. 
My husband requested a bathroom that he could fit in and he's 6'2", and so that's the size they came up with. And that is it for the master bedroom. And I also did a lock because my kids like to come in my bedroom when I'm at home. One last glimpse of our entryway. And one last glimpse of our kitchen. Before we start cleaning, we gotta clean and start putting stuff in here. And one last glimpse of our fireplace. And I did wanna show you guys our porch. This is our porch area. There's a bee. <laughs> okay, let's go back in. We did do these lights here, this one and that one. There's two bees. These are from Home Depot, but I didn't buy them. I got them from a liquidation place that sells Home Depot stuff. Some items in here that I got from a liquidation place that sells Home Depot stuff. So I got a lot of my lighting for, um, less expensive not regular price and so but this is it well you guys um, that was it after waiting 18 months this house is finally finally done so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope um our tour give you guys ideas if you're trying to build um and i hope you guys continue to watch our channel as we make our house into a home we will try to post uh, videos on how we decorate and how we do different life adventures together and how we do our garden. We're, we're hoping to start our garden soon. So those are some of the stuff that we'll be doing. So I hope you guys stay tuned whenever we post our videos. I hope you guys get to watch. And if you're watching right now, we'd really love if you guys would subscribe to our channel, like this video, and just hit us, um, give us a comment. Can you let us know what was the best part of this home and if you have any questions on where we got something or um any questions we'll be able to answer and if you want to know who our builder is our builder is a local builder here in greensboro north north carolina um they're called mj developers and they're local so it was really great working with a local builder um because working with this builder i feel like that I hired them instead of them hiring me. So I was I had um, access to my project manager every day. I spoke to him literally um, every day. And he actually comes to my house every day for the past 18 months. So whenever something was happening in my house, he was there. So he was always there every day just to check on the progress and whatever the workers did that day. So they're really easy to communicate with and Whenever I call them, they call me back within five minutes. Um, I never, they never take a long time to respond to me. Whenever I need something fixed or I need to add on, um, they were able to do that. And I was able to add on things without getting charged. Um, as long as they haven't ordered something yet, they will let me, they allowed me to uh, add or make changes. So if something um, that they bought already that I wanted to change, then they'll charge me whatever the, the, fee is for the new item and so one thing i am changing is the window in my bathroom so i'm gonna have to pay for that because that's the the window that's there now is the window that i chose um and so i'm waiting for them to change that and then i have to pay for them to change that and also the crown mo um the what is it called not the crown molding but i can't think of the name right now but the, the bottom of the baseboards, I actually wanted to change them to white because I didn't really like the way it looked with my flooring. It was such a long process to get the painter to come back and do that. So we're actually not doing that right now. Uh, we'll probably just do it on our own later. It was just a hassle trying to get the painter to come back and do it. And But that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. We do really appreciate you guys taking your time um, to watch our video. And we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.